the number two reactor largely remained below 100 degrees Celsius, bringing the mercury below the 100 degree mark at all three trouble reactors. But TEPCO still faces challenges, such as stabilizing the cooling systems before a state of cold shutdown can be achieved. 100 degrees is a benchmark temperature for a cold shutdown, which is a goal for step two of TEPCO's plan to contain the nuclear disaster. The government is aiming to achieve a cold shutdown by the end of this year. Under normal circumstances, a cold shutdown can be reached when reactors are halted safely and the water inside drops below 100 degrees. But since the Fukushima plant has suffered nuclear fuel meltdowns, the criteria are somewhat different. That's why a cold shutdown has been redefined as bringing the temperatures at the bottom of the crippled reactors to below 100 degrees. Another requirement is curbing the release of radioactive substances so that additional human exposure near the plant can be limited to one millisiever per year or less. We are satisfied that all three troubled reactors are below 100 degrees. It's very important to maintain this situation permanently. One of the hurdles to achieving the cold shutdown is the presence of contaminated water. Water must be continuously injected into the reactors to keep them cool. But this produces 550 tons of radioactive water each day, which must be decontaminated. An expert points out another major hurdle. One hundred degrees is only a benchmark point, and achieving this does not mean the reactors are safe. Another major earthquake and tsunami could strike, and the water cooling systems could suddenly stop working. If this happens, it's vital that the cooling process is resumed quickly before additional melting occurs.